Lives it for review. Koya Samoa. He's playing in a position he loves to play. And so a lot is expected of the Juventus midfielder today. Sends that ball in well defended. And Mayuka, he's proven to be a danger. If you remember, he scored a goal that uh, saw Zambia beat Ghana at the 2002 African Nations Cup semi final. And uh, the Southampton striker would want to cause problems time and again. Musonda, the left back. Well, the player going out on his own and a parry, picking the ball up, and this is Wakaso. Looking for Jan, but Suzu was there. But here's Waris. Oh! That was an excellent attempt on goal by Waris. Brilliant play from Muba Amin, Abdul Majid Waris. Remember, when the Black Stars had to play against the Toto, he again caught them very well with a somewhat chance. And that was a very interesting play from them. And I'm sure that with plenty of this, one of them will be a goal. And the advantage that it is is that Asamojan doesn't have to fight against the back four on his own. And if they keep the attention, look at the way he took that particular shot. Just sailed a bit over the bar. But clearly, he is a danger if he's let alone with uh, Jan's reputation flying before him. He's actually getting a reputation of actually playing very well for the Black Stars and getting a necessary chance. I'm sure that he'll be able to score more goals for the Black Stars. Worries. He scored the last time Ghana played here in that 4-0 win over Sudan. And Sunzu again. It's going to be a free kick to the Chipolo Polo, which means copper bullets. They used to be called the ah. Kenneth Kaunda 11, so they've evolved over the years. Oh, yeah. Moved on. Okay, yeah. very, very quickly, if you look at Nathan Sinkala, he's playing the natural box to box uh, play, and that's really making things difficult for the Black Stars in the last few minutes. And I'm sure that he's able to get things sorted out. And the Kujas Samoa, as well as um, Okasu, getting themselves again very deep enough. We'll be able to sail through. And Jan gets it to Warris beautifully. Jan. And the Black Stars putting the ball together. Now this is Koja Samoa. Asamoa. Decides to drive forward. And it gets a free kick in a central position. And the chance will go up yet again. We're just down about nine minutes, and that's Kevin Prince watching on the bench. But look at Koja Samoa go. It was going to drive through to the center, and then it was brought down by Nathan Sinkala. I was too sure that I was going to, really going to make any impact on that because they had about six or so uh, midfielders from uh, the Zambians there. And so maybe he was trying to get some opener for one of the players in the 18-yard box. Mubarak Wakasa has scored seven times in 13 internationals for the Black Stars already. And he's shown to be a very good set piece. Oh, and the ball taken away before Rabiu Mohamed could pull the trigger. So it is a corner kick to the Black Stars of Ghana. First of it for the Black Stars and first of it in the game. And it's Mubarak Wakasu. He has created goals from free kicks and from corner kicks. And uh, the cover will be waiting there. And he misses everybody. And Jonathan Mensah went up as well, the center back. And he wins a corner kick as well. Well, no, according to the referee, it is a goal kick. Jonathan found himself in a very, very tight corner. He really Whatever he did, he knew he was going to get another corner, but the player was more smarter in terms of uh, really getting the ball out of the danger zone. He certainly did. And uh, Kennedy Mwini became a, a, a hero in uh, Zambia after saving that penalty from a Samojan. And uh, he is one reason why Mamelodi Sundowns have enjoyed a strong start to their PSL season so far. And that Andrea, the you. reason he said the favor of God will be on them to win this game. Well... <laughs> uh, God listens to prayers from everybody. So let's just wait and see. Of course, his will will be done. And we'll be hoping that it's not done in their favor. But we'll find out. We'll find out more about that later on. Musanda. Kojo Asama wins the ball brilliantly. Well, not according to the referee. He spotted a foul. So Ghana gets the decision. And uh, Daniel Opari going to take the throw in. Is this a throw in actually? The standard Liege fullback looking for Jan. And that's a good header on. Excellent defensive work by Sunzu. But Andrea Yu decides to go, goes down, is immediately up on his feet. And now Lungu Chisamba still has the ball and does very well with it. And Kondwani feeding the ball through looking for 
Rainford Calabar, but John Boy was there to actually deal with the danger. And Ghana will construct yet again with Andrea Yu down the right, given a license to cut in at will. And this is uh, Jonathan Mensah. Decides to go for a long pass, and that's a lovely ball to a parry. He needs to get a good cross inside. Wow. Asamoja got there first, but his header went over the bar. Again, I said that. He was there for the first time, and Kennedy was bidding to it. I think the ball was a bit beyond that Samwajan, and so there was nothing he could have done. He did exactly what was expected of him, except that it just glanced off his forehead and went over the bar. Certainly do, but uh, Kennedy Mwini just about to restart the attack for Zambia. Opari. Musunda has the ball back in. Jonathan Mensah. Mayuka wins the ball. Well defended, and Rabiu did his job. Jonathan Mensah, Rabiu Mohamed, protecting the ball very well. And now Harrison Apple, Wakaso. Slips a bit, but uh, manages to win the ball back. And gets the ball back to John Boy. The Red Mid uh, defender finds Andrea Yu. Koja Samoa decides to drive forward. Koja Samoa, that's a lovely ball to Asamoa Excellent tackle. That's a superb tackle there. Brilliant tackle. Excellently taken by the Zambia. Stapila Suzu is having a great game at the back, but Apari still moves forward. Well defended yet again. And this is Wakaso looking for Waris. Couldn't keep, the, well, he keeps the ball in play. Waris coming forward, decides to fire, goes off target. But Ben, you have to say that Koja Samoa's influence on the middle is beginning to tell on the game. That is what he needs to do. Get the ball, weave your way through, make sure you tease out the Zambians from their defensive shot and create more space. Then you have Waris, or definitely you're going to have a Dede Ayu moving down the flank side. That, again, is a, what I expect from Koja Samoa. More of this definitely will get the Black Stars a chance here. Certainly would. And Kennedy Mwini gets the start again for the Zambians who are under the course. The ball goes out for a throw in. Ball's thrown there. Ball cleared out. It's another throw into the Black Stars. Opari. Asamoah marked heavily. Suzu Stapila is really doing a good job on him, but that was a superb tackle, I have to say. Nah, definitely not. Definitely not. That was a, that was a great tackle. And now Wakasa gets another opportunity to deliver one of those trademark free kicks. And we'll see what he does with this one. Well defended by Zambia. Afo wins the ball back. Looking to bring it back to Koja Samoa. He's playing like a bit of a sweeper. Wakaso finds Koja Samoa. He'll be looking to uh, pick the ball up to try and drive through the middle again. And this is Rabiu Mohamed, a water carrier of the team. He's looking to set the ball up. Jonathan Mensah. Rabiu, Andrea Yu, Koja Samoa. Andrea's moved into the center, and that was a, a bad tackle by Sinkala, who is the holding midfielder for the Zambians, and is doing a hat to job, trying to stop uh, all of Ghana's good players from moving with the tackles, and this time it was deemed illegal by the referee. And Kennedy Mwini giving out instructions as usual, with a free kick about to be taken. Wakaso. Looking for John Boy. Wow! The goal has been given! The goal has been given! 
jump by, fired it in, and it's an own goal. The first goal for the Black Stars against Zambia in 7,905 days. Ghana are a goal ahead. confusion from the Zambians but they thought that there was a foul in the ADR box against Boyd and the referee never gave that dead goal from Majid Warriors. Can I say this? Ghana has a new predator and his name Abdul Majid, Majid Warriors. Warriors. <laughs> That's the second consecutive goal at the Babaya Rospo Stadium but more importantly Ghana lead by one goal to nil. And now Zambia have to fight back. Akande And it's going to be a throw, Harrison Apple. And this is a uh, Warriors again. And the ball has gone out. It's going to be a free kick to the Zambians who now have to fight. And Ben, boy, do we have a game on our hands now? We do, but I think that the Zambians should not really blame the referee very much. You know, the referee just realized that the ball hadn't crossed the line. We're just looking at this line, man, who just raced straight to down to the center line and gave the goal. And this is a very experienced uh, referee in today's game. Well, I don't think we need to justify it further. The goal has been given. Let's leave it at that, shall we? And carry on with the match. Anyway, Zambia is still moving forward, and the ball has gone out. It is going to be a throw. Good tackle by Mubarak Wakaso. And the Zambians... You can hear the trumpets blaring, the cacophony of sounds emanating from the Barbaros Sports Stadium. And I'm sure those watching at the Jubilee Park in Kumasi will be enjoying themselves by now. And uh, this is uh, Patao Dada grabbing the ball. And John will pick this ball up beautifully. For just some more. Andre Ayu, Jan. Ayu. So Parry, Ghana looking to unlock the Zambian defense yet again. Forced to bring it back to Jonathan Mensah, who's looking so confident at the back. Jonathan, uh, John Boy, Rabiu, and Ghana just putting the passes together. And Aparri picks it up for a throw. Well, it's given the other way. Mayuka. And that was a foul there, a definite foul by Jonathan Mensah on the striker. Well, we're, we're just at the 20th minute mark, and you're live on GTV, the Pulse of the Nation, and GTV Sports Plus, your 24 hour channel. And you're watching us across Africa and beyond. And if you just joined us, it's Ghana 1, Zambia 0, Abdul Majid Waris, the goal scorer. And now it's a, a two-man conference between Christopher Katongo and Rainford Kalaba over who takes the free kick. The ball is blocked, and this is Wakaso. Wakaso moving forward. And that was a poor pass. By his high standards, not the best, but uh, I think he can be forgiven with the sort of scoring record he has, Mubarak Wakaso. Heavy Renard is looking not happy, just to say the least. If he had gone with the, na the, na the same score that won the Nations Cup in 2012 final, we would probably not have a change in the team. But again, it's one substitution that has made. Matunga. I've had a question asked of them. Can they find back psychologically? Suzu gets the ball away. Apple is there to control. Dowda. Well, kick the ball to no one in particular. Ball's been picked up by Kondwani. 
Good defensive work there by Jonathan Mensah. Rabiu Mohamed. Afo. But just someone now looking to feed the ball. Brilliant skill. And it's a free kick. And it was Rabiu of all people showing that he can play as well as uh, break up moves. Rabiu had a chance to see Mubarak Wakas deep in the center circle. He could have just released the ball after the first count. He decided to go for another one, which was very good. Meanwhile, lovely flick there, and this is uh, Wakaso. Waris. Wakaso, brilliant ball to Apple. Good skill. The cross comes in. And it was Waris again, heading the ball off target. Waris is proving to be a danger. I thought that Samoa Chan was the one who went to the header. Well, the fact that uh, chances are being created is very promising to the Black Stars, but Zambia have been now be hoping that the Zambians can also come up with a few chances of their own. Ball has been head back. Confusion between Boy and Afo. And Rabiu Mohamed and Afo combined to win the ball away. Wakaso. But just someone losing out. Zinkala to no one in particular. And it's going to be a goal kick to the Black Stars of Ghana. And Fatal Dada is angry. It certainly doesn't. And now Fatal Dada looking to restart the attack for the Black Stars. Looking for Wakaso, who flicks the ball, but uh, only as far as the Monday, but Asamojan tries to win it back. And now, Suzu. Lungu. Good play to Kondwani. And now the Zambians put in some good passes of their own. Good scale there. Coming from Lungu. Cross comes in, well defended, but still not out of danger totally. The cross comes in again, and it's going to be a corner kick to the Chipolopolo of the Zambians. I think the Black Stars should not think that uh, the Zambians are jet legged after arriving in, in Kumasi just like yesterday in the morning. morning. Because then they are trying to put some fire, you know, passes together, which is working. And so I think that the Black Stars need to be very careful. Do not be complacent after getting the first goal. Well, I think what this game needs, as far as the Black Stars are concerned, is a second goal to kill it off, but you cannot rule out the Zambians just yet. And Fatal Dada winning that ball. And the ball cleared out by Jonathan Mensah. Well, he got himself caught in no man's land. That's where he was going, no man's land. Fortunately for Ghana, it didn't really cause too much problems. And the Zambians still fighting hard to get in, but uh, Ghana wins the ball. And good play there by Afo. He wins the foul. That actually reminded me of Kalusha Boyla when he damaged Eddie Onsan and was trying to score. It was our own Emmanuel Amar Senegal who came in to clear the ball. I remember watching that game 21 years ago and my heart skipped a beat when that happened. And Thankfully. that was just after the Black Star that scored. Yeah. And you see, when you score a goal, that's where you are at your most vulnerable. Fortunately, nothing like that has happened so far here for the Black Stars. It's going to be a throw into the Zambians. Meanwhile, Musonda. Mayuka. He's not really had opportunities with Southampton, but he scored for them in the Capital One Cup recently and Lungu well the referee says no can do Daniel Apari leave the ball well it is a, a throw into the Black Stars Suzu fell in the ball and good play there by Sinkala and now Kondwani and this could be dangerous Jan and a shot oh what a shot by Mubarak Wakaso! By Kennedy Mwani. Well, 
that was a superb destruction. Excellent save by Kennedy Mwini. The man who's trying to keep the score line down at the moment. But when he said that he was looking for the favor of God, I knew that he was really coming to do his best. But that was another fantastic save from him. I thought it was a goal from Wakasu. Well, let's see what happens with this corner kick. Well headed out. And Zambia trying to construct something. And Rabiu Mohamed's uh, ball wasn't a very good one. But uh, Ghana clearly have not lacked the chances. They just need to finish them off, Ben. Good thinking for Wakasu quick thinking. He realized that there was no time to waste there and he decided to go with this one. Well, it seems to be uh, in a uh, good goal scoring form for the Black Stars at the very least. An average almost a goal every two matches. Seven goals in 13. This is his 14th international and he was close to scoring his eighth goal there. And uh, Sinkala. Hondwani. Jonathan Mensa. Well, that was risky, but he managed to pull it off. Oh, I was just thinking, what's this guy doing again? But then he saw that the goalkeeper was coming up. Maybe there was a communication between him and the goalkeeper, and that was the reason he sent the ball back to him. Well, Dada gets to uh, restart the attack, looking for Jan. Tries to flick it, but Suzu goes with him every time. And Koja Samoa manages to help win the ball at Wakaso. Afo, Waris, looking for Jan. Goes down and that's a free kick in a dangerous area. And Warris is proving to be the real deal here. Well, brilliant pass again as Samajan was really in between the defenders. All he had to do was make sure he lied on him. That that he knew was going to get a, I mean, a free kick for this one. So he had to do it because Jan was actually going to collect the ball on each end. And Pam, maybe a shot will come from him. And he is in very good goal scoring form. Scored twice. You take a look at that. He was he was barred into the back end. And the player could easily have had a yellow card. Well, I think the referee is trying to make sure we have a level game before maybe again coming out with a card. Well, let's see what comes out of this free kick. Wakasa can score, Jan can score, Andre Ayu has the potential to score. Now the question is, which of them takes this free kick? Go with a sweeping cross, a sweeping shot, and that will do for you. Well, Andre is there, or will it be Wakaso? Let's see what happens. Well, Wakaso it was. It went over the bar, not a bad attempt, and you can see Andre urging his side on. As young as he is, he already has 44 caps. Today is his 45th appearance for the Black Stars. Hugely experienced, even at a young age. Well, he should be proud of himself because he made himself available in 2008, and since then he's been carrying on, and had to do it again for the under 20 side to win the cup. And that is the potential, the inspiration that he brings to the national team. And that's the reason when he's not in the national team, people cry out for him. Well, good to have him back. If you're a Ghanaian fan, that is. And uh, a bit of a, a push. Mayuka trying to run down the channel, but Topari was there to stop him. Goes down. Ball kicked inside, and this is Jan. Manages to keep the ball in play. Tries to take Suzu on. Stopila Suzu, such a tough defender. And uh, a bit of afters between Jan and Suzu. And Musonda, well, that, that, that is enough to tell you that this game, there's so much at stake when it comes to this particular game, Ben. They create, they, I mean, they actually cried for a fair play, so I'm expecting the players to know better not to go in for any of his cuffs over here. I'll tell you what, there's no player that makes a promise before a match and sticks to that promise during the match. <laughs> I can tell you that. They should. <laughs> anyway, Kennedy Mwini kicks the ball in. And Jonathan Mensa. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I'm seeing the air apparent to John Mensa and Jonathan Mensa today. He's looking very confident. He seems to be the man in charge of the back. He told me the first time he saw uh, perhaps he got the opportunity to play for uh, the Black Stars and John Mensa was there. He was like, wow, I'm playing with John Mensa. That is a good thing for him. It certainly is. And the shot from Lungu was blocked. Suzu tries to get the ball back to him on day. The two of them have been key to Zambia's hopes. And uh, have a drink, me old son. Have a Renard, taking a drink of water. Certainly under the weather and under the cosh. And uh, Kodwani, ball goes back to Mwini. And Mwini gets the ball out. Ball's been headed. 
And now, Kalaba, well cleared there by Rabir Mohamed. And Wakaso does very well to win possession back for Ghana. John Boy. We'll be looking for Andre Ayu. But the ball goes out. But Andre applauds the effort. Mayuka. And that's a foul. And it's an interesting battle between Mayuka and Jonathan Mensah. Jonathan Mensah now playing regularly for Ebyan Taronga Yard. Hugely talented defender who actually played in the 2010 World Cup for Ghana. Was also a member of the 2009 World Youth Cup winning squad. There are a, a minimum of four of them in this particular starting lineup. Because you've got Rabiu Mohamed and Daniel Apare as well. Now the free kick taken by Calabar. And Fatal Dada is down. Well, it is going to be a corner kick, but Fatal Dada looked unsure uh, on that occasion. I'm not too sure he knew where he was going because, again, before the ball was kicked, there was still confusion and talking to do um, in the 18 yard box. Mayuka and Jonathan Mensah were still talking. I'm sure I had to do with the free kick. And so most of the players did not know their position very well. And that saw so about two or three uh, Zambians getting in there. More talking. Well, let's see what this corner kick brings. The ball headed out there by Mensa. It's going to be a throw into the Chipolo Polo. We've done 33 and a half minutes. It's still one goal to nil to the Black Stars. If the score stay the same, the Zambians are out. In fact, all Ghana needs to do is to avoid defeat to qualify for the next round. But because of the sensitivity of such a match, they're going all out to win to make absolutely sure that they're making it through. Coupled that with the fact that the Zambians have actually not won a game away. And, uh, and I should tell you, they're not very good travelers. The ball kicked inside. And Zambia, Musunda. Afo trying to win the ball, and he goes for it himself. And gets it to Jan, who is fouled. Jan is drawing all the fouls, and I think he's doing his job very, very well as the main man in the team. Create some confusion at the back for the Zambians and get Juarez and Wakasu weave their way through. That's his job now. And you're talking about weaving their way through. Apari was almost uh, close to doing that. He sent the pass, but it was uh, way beyond Juarez, and Muni will get to kick the ball inside yet again. This is the team that refused to train. And now Juarez. Mwini. Ball's been kicked to Sunzu. And they are forced to play it back to Mwini. Looking for the run of Musunda and Amayuka. Being tracked by Andre Yu. Sunzu. And the ball's been kicked back to Zambia star possession, Sinkala. Ball's just been passed. And Waris trying to hurry them, Suzu yet again. And the Zambia is still keeping possession and doing it very well, but they're not able to get that final penetrative pass. Podwani. Sinkala. Got to set the ball off. Zambia looking for that killer pass. Senkala. Lungu. Sunzu. And Ghana are so well tactically organized, the Zambians are finding it difficult to break through, but here's Katongo. Lungu. Just trying to put the passes together, Musunda. And a shot there, and Fatal Dada finally grabbing the ball. And is it me or is Fatal Dada having a bit of uh, nerves racking performance in goal today? I think it's been a bit jittery and uh, post some of the balls. He's not been able to grab the ball for the first time up there once. And secondly, if you realize the way the Zambians were playing, the Black Stars were just sitting back allowing them to play. And that was a shot. He couldn't just collect it the first time. And I think that um, he just needs to calm himself down in the post, allow the players to do their work. And he just makes sure that when it comes his way, he will definitely do a good job. Well, Wakaso winning the ball after 
Jan said that, and now Wakasa chasing after the ball. And Kennedy Mwini calmly slips it to him on day. To Kodwani. Well defended by Boy. Opari. To no one in particular. Ball just been passed there. Good play there by the Zambians. And Jonathan Mensah does very well to hold on to the ball to win it. And Opari. Manages to get the ball out. And a Samoyan looking to win it. And he does very well to hold on to it. And Andrea Yu. And the ball kicked. I think he got the ball and the man at the same time. I have a problem with the way the Black Stars are playing at the moment because they're not really getting the passes going. And when the Zambians do get the ball, they know where to find their man. And they're more comfortable than the Black Stars sometimes. The Black Stars are just rushing the ball. This one, for instance, I thought that Samoyan could have done better on the occasion. Well. Free kick has been long taken, and this is Andrea Yu. Finds a Samojan. And Andrea Yu will look to get across in. Decides to go forward. Still fighting for it. He's fouled and wins the free kick. That is the tenacity of Andrea Ayu. It reminds me of once the Black Stars played against Australia in the World Cup in 2010. He weaved his way through like that and was able to create a goal for the Black Stars. He's noted for that. Well, we have a free kick and Wakasa will go along for it. And uh, the cover will be arriving. Jonathan Mensah and John Boy have gone up into the box to see what they can get. And the big question is, uh, who gets to head home this free kick? Is this going to produce another goal? We just have to wait and see. And the fans are roaring. Well. It was a poorly taken free kick in the end. But Apple sends one in. Well defended again. And the referee spotted something, so it's going to be a free kick to the Zambians. And we're left with uh, just a little under six minutes to half time. One goal to nil. A result that would push Ghana into the final qualifying phase against the yet to be determined side. That was Andrea Yu showing his tenacity, fighting very hard and eventually being brought down. And now, Katungo looking to create something. He's dropped very deep. Lungu. The Zambians are, they look a good team. They look a cohesive side. They just have not been able to penetrate to make the clear-cut chances they would probably imagine they could have. They were thinking that they did not train last night, did not train this morning, and for that matter, they were going to be jet-lagged playing the Black Stars. I'm sure a lot of people are rewriting your, your story on the performance of the Zambians. They really are an organized side in midfield and defense as well. They certainly are. And uh, the fact that they play in a high altitude country uh, would tell you that they are fitter than us in, in that respect in terms of stamina. But we have to wait and see what will happen after the hour mark. For the moment, gonna lead and have the ball. John Boy. Looking for Warris. And it's going to be a free kick advantage, Zambia. Himonde has been dealing with Waris, and Suzu has been dealing with Jan. It's been interesting battles. But he wants to do well. And Rabiu trying to win the ball back. But Zambia still uh, keeping possession on Wakaso. Himonde. Back to Kennedy Mwini. Sinkala, Hondwani, and Katong was dropped so deep, but he was forced to play the ball back to the goalkeeper, couldn't find a way past the Black Stars midfield, well positioned, and Mwini, the Zambians are thinking of what to do, how are they going to break down the Black Stars organized structure, as a long ball that will do it, and Opari does very well, gets the ball away, but already he had been fouled by Musonda, who suffered a bit of an injury, but uh, let's hope he's all right. NASA shot on the Black Stars bench, Adam Corrissa and Kevin Prince watching, watching. Both players injured, that's why they couldn't take part today. For the moment, Musonda holding his uh, one side of his face. I don't know whether 
an accidental arm caught him. That could well prove to be the case. But uh, for him as a left back to be the further Zambian player forward is a measure of how tactically organized the Black Stars have been, such that the Zambians can't really break through. There's too much traffic in the midfield for both sides, and for that matter, you cannot really get the leeway to move away and then get your, uh, the ball moving. At least the goal that was scored there by Majid Warriors. But in terms of the traffic in the midfield, it's really becoming difficult. All you need to do is just balloon the ball. But I'm just so much surprised that if you have uh, Kalaba playing at the wings, you know, you have uh, on the flanks, you have Inform, Renford Kalaba, and Chisamba Lungu. They are really not pushing the balls through, and they are really relying on the midfield play, which is not really moving. And so the Black Stars, like Apari, would have to just push forward a little bit and support the DIU and get the ball straight in the mid, I mean, 18 yard box for Warriors and Asamoja. But they're concentrating too much in the midfield, and that's creating the traffic. Well, some uh, analysis for you from Ben, Willie Graham, but uh, Ghana still lead 1 0. You saw replays of the goal, or scored by Abdul Majid Waris. And uh, Rabiu Mohamed making sure that Ghana keeps possession. Rabiu looking for Andre Ayu. The ball does very well. And this is Waris. Looking for support down the right and finds it in Opari. Opari trying to go past this man. Still has the ball. And Mayuka fighting him off and eventually winning the foul. I thought it was going to send in the first time cross, but that did not happen, Ben. Well, I'm disappointed in Opari. I thought that the first ball from Warriors was supposed to have gone straight into the 18 yard box. Create the chance there. Let there be some movement. And let's see how you create the chances. But holding on to the ball and yet cannot kind of weave your way through the, your marker is so much of a problem. Well, because of that, the attack broke down. And uh, Mooney still with the ball. And Kondwani. And Zambia still looking to break forward. And Asamojan defending from the front is a throw in to the Zambians. He's had a good game. He's worked really hard, Asamojan. And now, the Zambians, that's a foul, so that's going to be a free kick. Rabu Mohamed, the guilty party, fouling the captain of Zambia, Christopher Katongo. And Rabu Mohamed. And he will be cautioned not to be mouthing up back to the referee. Otherwise, he will get himself in the book. We are in time added on. Two minutes of time added on. It's a goal to nail. And uh, very soon, Jamal Haimoudi, the uh, referee, will be bringing proceedings to an end as far as the first half is concerned. One goal to nail. Kennedy Mwini. Well, I wonder why he went for that. That was risky. But he got away with it. And the Zambians now moving away from the penalty area. Katongo. He's playing more as a midfielder. Sinkala. Ball's been sent back. And already a substitution about to take place. Emmanuel Mbola, who plays for the B side of Porto in Portugal, about to be brought on. And this is. Uh, Lungu, Katongo, working his soft soft, Kondwani, Sinkala, Sinkala, Katongo, good tackle there by Andre Yu, but it goes to Lungu, ball left through, well defended there John Boy, and it is a uh, Offside then, time for the change. And uh, Joseph Musonda did not recover from that knock. And so he's been replaced by Emmanuel Mbola, who was actually a teammate of Christian Achu at Porto. Achu, of course, on loan to Vitas Arnhem from Chelsea. He's on the bench for the Black Stars today. And uh, Fatal Rada. Jan went up for that ball. And Koja Sama brought down. It's going to be a free kick. St. Carla, the guilty party. It's going to be a free kick. And 
and that was uh, the playback of the foul again, and this is Jan. Couldn't control the ball very well. And the Zambians get the ball away, and that is the end of the first half. Ghana leading by one goal to that. I'm sure we're going to get some highlights to watch. But Ben, your assessment so far? Well, after the Black Stars had a chance, utilized it in the 16 minutes when they got the goal from Machid Warriors. Brilliant ball again from John Boyd. But the, the point here is that too much concentration was in the middle of uh, play. And I again was thinking that the Black Stars could be using their flanks better. We have not seen a lot of play from the flanks. We have not seen a lot of play from the Zambians again from their flanks. Because then they had Kalaba there and they had Lungu. Lungu has not been able to move down the right side of course and then give a pass there. And I'm thinking the Black Stars would have to just open up the game a little bit. But let's not also forget the fact that they had to close in the game, study the Zambians, the touches they bring on, and maybe the second half, both teams will try to open up the game and more be more goals will flow in. Well, probably some tactical changes and some substitutions. The fans delighted the Guardians, and, and this uh, was uh, the opening time where the Mayuka was brought down for that free kick, and this is Kojas somewhat driving forward, and he also won Ghana a free kick, and this was a cross from a parry. I saw a Samojan beating Kennedy Mwini. And this was the goal. John Boy slamming the ball forward. And Majid Waris, unnoticed, has the ball home. He's a predator in the making. And look at that. And this was Wakaso. Superb save by Kennedy Mwini. And there's another shot of that particular chance. Save there. And this was a free kick by Wakaso.